doesn't want to. Charles, Charles it has been, uh, it's coming up on two weeks now since she had this, this bout of the flu, uh, uh, the dehydration, re the resulting falling down and, and getting this concussion. Uh, one of our colleagues, Laura Engram on Fox News Sunday last week, uh, termed it the immaculate concussion. Well, I just do think it's strange in this day and age where, you know, John McCain had to give his entire medical history. Everybody in high position has to give every detail. I'm not interested in the details of what happened. But the fact that we, we haven't heard anything, we know as much about her concussion as we know about Hugo Chavez. And this is an open society. She is Secretary of State. She's di disappeared. Let us know something about her condition. Uh, but apart from that, I think what's really astonishing here is how little interest the press has in the continuing story. And the continuing story is that everything that you hear about the Benghazi affair is not true. The latest thing was there are four people, heads are going to roll, going to be responsible, accountable. And we, we learned a week later, as Steve indicates, who would even have followed up on this, you know. People have to be held accountable, and they're done, and they're gone. And they're not gone. Is there anything they have told us about the, this affair, a serious affair, four dead Americans, a sacked embassy, and the first assassination of an ambassador in 30 years? Is there anything that has t turned out to be so? As of now, nothing. I think she has to go before the Congress. She hasn't answered a single question from the press or the Congress on this, and she is the one in charge, and she has said the buck stops with me. Well, then, if it does, answer a few questions. Senator Bob